now we're heading to Sandy Cape, which is just north of Durian Bay. Yeah. Pretty cool camp, I think. Looks it's like a free camp, I think, isn't it? Yeah, bucks a and I think there's like five in a row. So the best one's the first one. If that's full, you try the next one until they're all full and then unlucky. Yeah, it looks good right on the beach. Yeah. Pretty nice spot, so we can do a bit of fishing, snorkeling. Yeah. And it's Friday today, so we're trying to get there. It's 20 past 12, so we want to get there about now. Um, so that anyone who's knocking off for the weekend early and tries to get out here, we can just get in there before they do. Sneak in before, man. Eh? Yeah. This is a belter of a spot. We've got, um, we're right next to the beach. We've got the setup. We've got a big area so we can fit both of our vans in here. Looks like okay, we've already got the fire pit going on over there. We've got the lamb roast in the Weber. We're just so grateful. Like, we are just, <laughs> this is what life is all about. Just awesome times, making memories. It's just. few weeks we have done sand dunes. we've done swimming golf swimming, course golf course but we've also done slip and slide Slippers. what if I told you we are going to combine all three of those things into one wait what yep <gasps> what do you reckon yes what are we gonna do what are we gonna do what are we gonna do <laughs> so apparently out here there's sand dunes around there and you slide down them on your boogie board and at the right tide you can go straight into the water to swim so it's like a slip and slide and sand dunes and a swim all added together yes Does that sound awesome oh yeah uh -huh. but, oh, but yeah. there's no okay. golf no golf no, no golf is that no good golf. or bad bad do you no, like the golf it's definitely good <laughs> ace loves golf m hates golf so good for one bad for one let's do it let's go it. Yep. this is the campsite here like literally just there and we're walking through. This is, where are we going? Come on, let's go! You keen yeah. to go, hey, Em? Oh, yeah. oh, that's it around there. Ah. It looks like so fun. Like, um, my friend just went and she went down into the water. So it looks like fun. My hat came off um, as I was coming down and the other day when we were at that spas in Margaret River my hat got smashed by water and then Ace stomped all over it. Have a look at it, right? Definitely need a new hat. Little man, they loved it. It was so fun. And yeah. Ace, what did you learn from that? Uh, did you learn to maybe look both ways before you walk? Yeah. What about that massive stuff you had? <laughs> <laughs> some water and when I drink some water some chocolate comes right out of my nose because <laughs> you started coughing didn't you yeah and it was like <laughs> on she goes back her on oh, it's oh, a bit hard. good placement Let's see. The sun's about to set yeah. Ooh. 
Oh yeah, good timing. Just as the sun's setting. Nice. Cheers. Cheers. Good. What are we drinking? Oh, Emu Export. The win in Western, Western Australia. Western Australian beer. Win in Western the Australia. The price was right too. How much was it? Like 50 bucks for 30. Yep. Can't go wrong. Don't worry, mate. I've been checking it. I've been flipping it. Checking it once. Flipping it twice. It's going to find out if it's going to taste disgusting or nice. It's pretty good to go. <laughs> Going pretty well. Yes. Of course. Um, our kids like you to cut a little square in the top, like, like so. A, like a little window. So, so when, so when you do it, all the heat can come out, and we can like scoop into it, which will be really. Good. And that pastry on top is delicious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Two thumbs up. It's a bit of a mad house, mad caravan this morning because it's our anniversary. Happy anniversary, mate. Yeah, 13 years. Lucky 13, eh? 13 years married and together for 18. That's a lot. Yes! Uh, that's a lifetime. So the kids and I are doing scrambled eggs, egg, garlic mushrooms yes. and bacon for breakfast that's to good. celebrate. It's good. A little treat. And what's that doing? Uh, <laughs> and Dad, I'm sure, will be doing lots later today. I'm filming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids are doing a great job. It's really good. I've already eaten my egg and mum hasn't even sat down sat down to the table yet. Yeah. You know you're supposed to wait till everyone's at the table before you start eating? Oh. That's manners. Mm. Hey, but everyone demolishes theirs before I've even started. Yeah. But it's so yummy. Good. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Sammy Cave. Great spot. We're heading out of the campsite right now. I'm going to pop you over up there so you can see the other campsite. And away we go! We were just talking about how we need to get a list of all of the caravan memberships that we have and write our number and have that piece of paper handy somewhere in the car. You know, like your big four, talk, um, g'day, all of those ones. Every time we always have to go, oh, we don't have it. What's the number? Don't know where the phone. card is. Oh, I don't know. We'll work it out when we get there. But it made me think about whether it's worth to have those memberships. And I think it, it's definitely worth it. We do heaps of free camping and we do heaps of national parks and that kind of stuff. Like majority that. But even if you only use it like five times in your whole trip, you've made your money back. And you're going to use it more than five times. We've got here super late. And this was the last spot available, a drive through. And we can't even get our awning out, but that's fine. In hindsight, we should have just gone. There's a 24 hour um, self contained RV stop. It's just like a car park, but because we're getting so late, we should have just gone there, slept the night, yeah, saved but we... 50 bucks, and then come here tomorrow. But there was only 11 spots here, so we don't know if we could have got in. So. Yeah, that's true. This will do. Okay. Anyway, yeah, it's fine. Nice sunset, sunset. Yeah. Whatever it's called. Oh, that's what it's looking like now. 13 years, pal. That is a long time. Woo! You're telling me. <laughs> this is the first year you haven't said you get less for murder. You get less for murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think an anniversary calls for wine instead of beer, so. Yeah. Wine. Cheers. Cheers. But I know I don't mate, so 13 years together, what is the secret? I think in any relationship, if you focus on, like obviously things are going to annoy you and the other person is never going to change those little annoying things. But at the end of the day, really, they're only like 2% of the person. Well, they're like 2% of Danny. 2% bad, 98% um, good, 2 eh? 2% bad and they really do shit me, but... I'll take that. I need to focus on the 98% of the things that I absolutely love about him. 
I reckon you're more 95. Five. <laughs> See, that's one of the things I love about him, is he's funny. He's very funny and very coordinated. I find that very attractive. And I think he's just... very smart and he's an awesome dad and there's so much, so much more than that. And then those times when you, you know, you've got the shifts at them, just try and remember those things and then that gets you through those times. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, you got to marry your, your mate, I think you got to get on. Right. You spend so much time, especially this year, we've spent, lived in each other's pockets pretty much and we're yeah. getting on better than what we have previously, I think. So yeah. we've realised that it's not, not all about how big your house is or what you own or all the rubbish that you acquire. Yeah. Just spending quality time, I think. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. There you go. So we, we're no experts, but... We feel like it today. Yeah. Happy it's anniversary. Happy anniversary, baby. <laughs> he never calls me baby. So <laughs> no, that was weird. Per vehicle per night they prefer FPOS but you can do cash as well they give you a little ticket chuck it on your windscreen and then head it's about two kilometers further up to the camp spot uh, and they he said it's about 25 acres of camping area so you just find a spot and camp up wherever you want to plenty of room eh? yeah and we just went past a sign saying snake habitat yes Yeah, we have to around. make sure we have shoes on, guys. Yeah. When we go for our walks. That would be unlucky bay. That would be very unlucky bay. What are you guys doing? Sitting outside the car window. All right, hop back in now, please. For a while, I've wanted to show everyone what the process is for hitching and unhitching because when we went to that towing course they gave us a process of which steps to do first and why so we wheel may as well show on. now yep wheel chocks on now so that if the brake or anything doesn't work the wheel chocks are a fail safe handbrake on handbrake next yep, yep. then electricals out, uh, out. And so the reason why we took the electricals out is because if we unhitch and the electricals are still in there and for some reason the van moves away from the car, it could snap the electricals. So make sure they're out before you unhitch. Mm -hmm. So then you got to pull... Lift that fella up. Lift that fella up. Hold on a sec. So, so one time we forgot to do that and we're unhitching. We're like, why isn't it coming up? Why isn't it coming up? Well, because we forgot to release that. So... Um, release that, make sure you do that. Okay, so then attach. Oh, attach the jockey wheel. Attach the and jockey wheel. Uh, wind her up. Wind her up and make sure everyone else is away from between the car and the van just for safety. Lift it up. And she's off the car. And then the final thing is to undo the chains. Actually, that's not the final thing, is it? Undo the chains. So we've got a process that Danny does the stuff on that side and I do the stuff on this side. So normally he'll put the wheel on. Geez, you're a bit close there, hey. Um, normally he'll put the jockey wheel on and do that. I'll undo the electricals. He'll undo the chain on that side. I'll undo the chain on my side. He'll put the wheel chocks on that side. I'll do it on this side. So basically he's got a side and I've got a side and then it just makes it faster. But today he's, uh, he's done it all. 
and then move the car. They move the car, so I normally do that. Move the car, then I'll wind the jockey wheel down so it's all nice level. Nice and level. So got the levels here. Yep, so we've got the level stuck on here. And then we're done. And have a beer. Yep, and have a beer. So after setting up outside, obviously you have to come inside and set up everything in here. I've got some mashed potato going, got my beer out, the kids have just run off to play but it's dark outside so I'm actually going to go and um, round them up and Danny's outside cooking the barbie. It's pretty normal so I'm just going to turn the heat down on this so it doesn't topple over while I'm going to get the kids. Ahoy hoy! Howdy! What have you... we got cooking? Paprika chicken, sweet and smoked paprika, a couple of eye fillets, just salt and pepper and three corn on the cobs. Oh, and I've got some mashed potato going on inside. So I'm going to go and find the kids. Yeah, Because it's know. already dark I, and they've I, just... I can hear them. Can't see them. Run off. They're off. We'll go try and find them. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. So it's our the first day here after we slept so here last night. And... Somewhere. This morning we did schoolwork and Danny did some painting and now we're going to let the tyres down and head off to the beach over there. Apparently the snorkeling's really good so we're going to go and check that out but we need to get the tyres down I think to about 15 psi we've been told so going more, go more than that. 20. About 20. 20, 22. Yeah, if we get stuck we can let them down there. And then if we get stuck we'll let them down then so doing that right now and then into the car and off we'll go. Traveling family going, joined us. And everyone's been out Mom, snorkeling Mom. on the. Yeah, I'm going there, Em. Everyone's been snorkeling out there. The sun's come out. But yeah, there's so many traveling families out. Like thousands. So many more than you expect when you leave. It's really good. Awesome. We're doing some droning. Learning some more tricks on the drone. Yeah, trying to anyway. Trying not to crash it. It's hard to capture how good that is on the GoPro. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. There's heaps of space. Oh, massive area. Yeah. yeah, and each campsite's pretty big, and it's you know a fair distance from your neighbours, so you feel pretty, you know, on your own here. But well, you had your own little area. You didn't actually feel on your own because there's so many families here. So today we're going to check out this pink lake. Danny's going to get us some good drone footage of it for you. If you don't get blown away, it's pretty windy out there. I'll see how the drone goes in the wind. It's yeah, that's a hut true. lagoon or huts lagoon, I think. Yeah. So it's super pink. windy, but it's really blue sky, so hopefully the colour will be really popping today. We'll see, eh? I think it's supposed to be like a dark and red. Ooh. Exciting. Yeah.
We've made it to this pink lake and the sky is pumping. So I think the lake is gonna be fantastic. It is so pink and all different hues of pink. So I'm really excited to see the drone footage. We're ready to see an amazing, stunning, fantastic pink lake, guys. Yes. yes. Let's do it. Let's check yeah. it out. Let's go. Another glass and I am going places makes me That was episode seven. I hope you liked it, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to. And next episode, we're going to Kalbarri National Park and we get to see it after the massive cyclone that went through there. We are so excited for that. So keep an eye out for that next episode. Cheers.